that's what's more fun for me. I spent most of my life as It's difficult to believe it's been four years since the tragic passing of former Perth boy turned Hollywood superstar Heath Ledger. Considered one of the most promising actors of his generation, at just 28 years of age, he'd achieved an impressive body of work and the highest of praise from his peers. So it was a genuine tragedy when he was found dead in his New York apartment on January 22, 2008. There's movie stars and then there's actors. And Heath, to me, is both of those. Heath was just a dream to work with. He was exceedingly smart. I mean, he was just a superhuman good person, uh, wise, and one of the most phenomenal actors I've ever worked with. I was blown away by him. He turned out to be kind of magical. He makes me want to be present, and um, that's, I think, the best thing you can ask for in somebody who you're working with. No, he was very, very extraordinary and special. And those of us who worked with him actually know how beyond extraordinary he was. I mean, he would have been the greatest actor of his generation. No, no question. Somewhat ironically, Heath's first role was playing the boy who would never grow up, Peter Pan, on stage as a 10-year-old. He persuaded his big sister, Kate, who already had an agent, to introduce him. And as a teen, he was soon landing bit parts on TV. Even from early on, Heath loved to push himself. When he was offered two roles in the ill-fated TV series Sweat, he chose the gay cyclist, thinking it would make him stand out more. It did. Heath saw something of a breakout when he was cast in the US TV series Raw. The series was again a bit hit and miss, but Heath received interest in the States and decided to seize the day, bunking up with his best mate from Perth and Sweat co-star Martin Henderson. Raw was like a big advertisement for me, you know. It, the iron was hot in America, so I thought I'd pack up and go over there and strike and give it a go. And after a while, I was there for about 10 months, and it took a while, and um, it just came through, you know, persistence and um, picking the right jobs uh, and not going in on everything that I read. You know, just being very careful about it. And Heath was careful about it, to the point that he was struggling. Oddly, he was saved from this torpor by the Aussie film industry when he won the lead role in Two Hands, a clever, confident take on the Australian underworld. Almost an Aussie lock, stock and two smoking barrels, director Gregor Jordan knew he had found the next big thing in his leading man. He's a very intelligent actor. Um, I mean, he's a very intelligent guy. It actually blew everyone away on the shoot how intelligently he was able to um, you know, pull off his performance because um, not only is he sort of good at understanding text and really good at sort of, um, you know, finding, you know, really sort of nothing out the subtext and things like that. Heath was a very different man offset than when he was working. Heath's Two Hands co-star Rose Byrne really noticed the difference between Heath in character and the painfully shy Heath as himself, something which Candy author Luke Davies also recognised years later. It's bizarre how different he is when you're acting with him and when he's normal. It's, it's really quite different, but, you know, he's perfect for Jimmy. Like, just nailed the character, I think. Just really good, good casting. <laughs> Heath is like uh, a, a skittish cult, he absolutely can't sit still, but he's a, he's a warm, generous and funny skittish cult. And then the incredible thing is when the cameras are rolling, he's go, he goes into a completely different place and is very, very centred in this thing that is completely other to him, to, to, to what he's like, you know, between takes or in his life. While Two Hands only did big business in Australia, it did bring Heath interest from the States. He scored a role in the teen hit, Ten Things I Hate About You, which was a great vehicle for Heath, who charmed his way through it. After its success, however, Heath, just like Johnny Depp and River Phoenix before him, made a conscious decision to escape his heartthrob image. He instructed his agent to bin any high school teen-focused scripts, and he settled down in LA for what would be a year of, to quote Heath, eating noodles and drinking water. This uncompromising attitude paid off when he won a prime role in the Mel Gibson film, The Patriot. 
Typically, Ledger saved up all his per diems from the shoot and gave them to his struggling mate, Martin Henderson. Ledger was on his way, but it wasn't all plain sailing. Famously still set on becoming a proper actor, he'd refused the part of Spider-Man and was happy to pass on big budget films for work that made him happy. I love what I do. I absolutely love it. I love the craft, but you work to live, you know? You don't live to work. His next outing, A Knight's Tale, was again a hit with the teen market and it also scored him a girlfriend in Heather Graham. Heather was nine years Heath senior, a pattern which Heath established on the set of Raw with Billy Zane's sister Lisa, then 12 years his senior, and was to continue with Naomi Watts, who was 10 years his senior. This succession of older women says much about Heath's life experience and maturity at such a young age. Heath would remain on horseback for his next pick, The Four Feathers, which despite his strong performance was a financial disaster, though he was undeterred. You can choose to stress about that. You can choose to like think about it um, and worry about it, or you can choose not to. You know, um, I, th I find it that easy, and I just choose not to. The Four Feathers may have blighted his fledgling career, were it not for a stroke of luck that came in the form of his co-star Wes Bentley. In need of a break and contracted to make Monsters Ball, with Halle Berry in her Oscar-winning role immediately after The Four Feathers, he asked Ledger to take his part and spare him the wrath of the studios. Heath agreed and unknowingly just scored himself a role in one of the most lauded films of the year. The role of an abused and suicidal prison guard was small yet pivotal. It proved for the first time that Heath had it in him to be a genuine character actor. Heath would return to Australia for Ned Kelly, relieved once again to be back on home soil. Everything's just so much easier. You know, people get your jokes and they, you know, you just, you are a part of one mass of people and I do feel very much Australian and, uh, and it was good to like, you know, replant my roots. Naomi Watts also starred in Ned Kelly, but more on her and the other ladies in Heath's life, including his daughter Matilda, coming up next. For more of the best in entertainment news, check out your Movie Network channels. It's all together better, on screen and at mnc.tv.